Hi kids! Today we will learn about a type of data chart, which is called pie chart. So let's start! Data chart is a type of diagram or graph where data is represented by various symbols, such as bars and bar graph, lines and line graph, or slices in a pie chart. We make data charts so that large quantity of data is easily read and the relationships between different parts of data can be easily understood. Today, we will be learning about pie charts. Data chart that presents percentages in different groups are often displayed in a pie chart. Pie chart is good for showing how a whole is divided up. Example, how much money is spent on each thing in a budget can be represented using a pie chart. A pie chart shows percentage values as a slice of pie. Let's learn it with examples. Here we have a pie chart. Let's try to read it. Title says pie chart shows the favorite movies. First of all, this circle is representing 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 6 equals 20 people. And different slices of pie shows the people with different choice of movies. As labels on the graph, tells green portion represents the fraction of people out of 20 people that likes comedy movies. Label also says Four people, which is 20% of 20 people, like comedy movies. Now labels on the graph tells purple portion represents the fraction of people that likes action movies. Label also says five people, which is 25% of 20 people like action movies. So, percentage of circle that each portion represents says that much percentage out of the total number of people like that type of movie. Now, labels on the graph tells blue portion represents the fraction of people that likes drama movies. Label also says one people, which is 5% of 20 people, likes drama movies, and so on. So when we have to show percentage values, we use a pie chart, where the percentage portion of a circle represents the percentage value. And the whole set of things are represented by a whole circle. Now let's learn another example. Here we have a pie chart. Let's read it. Here the title says, it is about the imported fruits. And according to labels, this portion shows percent of apples imported out of total fruits imported. The percentage of apples imported out of total fruits imported is 27%. The percentage of oranges imported out of total fruits imported is 24%. The percentage of bananas imported out of total fruits imported is only 4%. And fruits which are imported least are kiwi and strawberries. And their share out of total fruits imported is only 3% each. Which is least of all fruits. And the fruit that is imported the most is apples, which is 27%. So kids, let's take another example. Here we have a pie chart for sale of three different years, 2012, 2013, and 2014. And key shows that different colors represent different magazines sold. So, each pie chart shows a percentage sale of different magazines in a year. Like, in 2012, 
59% users subscribed one-on-one -on -one magazine. 21% users subscribed ChemStar magazine. Now, from the three pie charts shown, we can clearly conclude that subscribers of one-on-one -on -one are decreasing. 59%, 49%, 38%, 38%. In 2012, 59% of people subscribed to One on One magazine. In 2013, 49% people subscribed One on One magazine. In 2014, 38% of people subscribed One on One magazine. So its subscribers are decreasing. And subscribers of Kenstar are increasing. 2012, 21%. 2013, 23%. 2014, 25%. More trends can be easily like subscribers of effort are increasing. 2012, 10%. 2013, 12%. 2014, 15%. Here is another example of pie chart. Here, this pie chart is giving us percent of students opting for different games. Like, 11% students out of total students are opting gymnastics. 12% of students are opting tennis. 27% of students are opting for swimming. Remember, pie chart always show how a whole is divided up. And the whole circle always show the total number of things, like total number of students in this example. And the slices show the percentage values. So kids, today we learned about another type of data charts, which are called pie charts. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.